Hi, Michael here with Solution Innovation of ServiceNow, and I'm going to go ahead and cover how we go ahead and do deep linking in the ServiceNow native application uh, for New York. Uh, so this is specifically for the agent application, and what we really want to do is to cover how do we send certain links either in emails or maybe through the portal. And a great example of here is if I go to an email that I have up with a particular deep link with it, and when I click on this deep link, it brings up that question of, do you want to open up with a specific application? In this case, yes, I want to open it with the agent app. And this takes me directly to my record. So, you know, the question comes up to, okay, in ServiceNow, how do we create this deep link so that way we provide a fluid mobile experience? And this could be either in things with maybe a portal link or maybe even an email, um, as you see here. So. Um, the way that we really start to get into this is using the mobile API around the mobile deep link generator. Um, so here I have a background script of my instance and I set it up for a mobile deep link generator API here that I'm taking advantage of and in it I can set up this variable with some parameters such as the sys ID for the screen that I want to deep link to. This is very important, I'll get to this in a minute the table name of the record and then the sys ID of the record itself and when I run this I then get a deep link returned to me and this is the link that you just saw in that email so the question comes to um, how do we go ahead and find this information so the first thing that we want to get to is the screen so in it if you go to the applet screen so in the basic UI navigator if you look under system mobile there's applets and all the screens that we have for the various applets are going to be listed now in this case I'm using a, an application called mobile lab um, of course I put it together for a mobile lab that we've been been doing for various events and in this mobile lab application I have the workshops screen itself now if you'll notice there's several workshops there's activity stream there's um, another workshop that's ran, run on demand um, and then there's also this one that's a prefetch this prefetch and if you'll see here there's no description to it is the screen that I want um, it can be a little confusing to find that screen but ultimately you'll see here when I went into it it says form screen if I go into this other workshop screen for example this is my list screen so you just have to be careful to make sure you get the sys ID of the right screen that you want to be navigate to but once you do um, that's going to go into that uh, the API to pull that information um, of course the other two items are pretty simple here's the table you want to go to and then here's also the sys ID um, now when it comes to building this, this I'm just using a basic background generator, but the question comes up to, okay, how do we make this dynamic so that way we can send emails to Deep Link, uh, or maybe we want to do something from the portal. And so in another example that I put together here, um, I have a ServiceNow portal. Um, in this case, I modified the out-of-box list widget a bit to go ahead and point to this, this workshop application where I have all these various workshops listed. Um, now in it, if I have this Minneapolis Snug Mobile Workshop, I click on that link and it's going to say, do you want to open this up with a widget? So this was generated using that same API where in the server side script, um, as I'm pulling the information to generate this list, I have my piece of code right here where I've set up the API to point to the specific screen that I want. So that's the same from that background script you saw and then the table names the same but then the sys ID that I have is just pulling from the result of the records that I searched for so in this case I'm using a widget I'm just using the server side scripting to go ahead and query the ServiceNow instance um, pulling the sys ID of the record and then sending that to generate on the uh, in the URL um, and so then when I go ahead and click on it or push it with my finger it just takes me directly to the native app for it which works great um, now another questions come up you know can we go ahead and have our mobile app be able to go to maybe a portal page and then go back in um, so this has been very interesting where where it's been more of a limitation so if I go ahead and bring back up my my application here, I'll show you what I'm talking about um, so I've got my agent and in this agent I have a link to go to that portal that you had seen um, 
that I already showed from uh, Chrome on my on my phone here. So I can go to the portal, and the screen looks exactly the same, right? But then the question comes to, okay, what happens when I now go with this link? And this is what we end up seeing. Page you're looking for cannot be found. So this is one of the limitations where the native application itself doesn't quite understand the URL to know to deep link back into itself. Um, something that I'm submitting for uh, an enhancement request because um, there's been a lot of use cases where people want to mix the native experience where they have some things they want to navigate to a uh, navigate to um, through the native application and then there's some things they want to maybe take somebody to a portal page but then link back into maybe a specific page in the native application so that right now is not a hundred percent fluid um, but there are certain things you can take of such as the um, um, the API framework um, that's available, Cabrillo, um, that can use JavaScript to then, for example, go back into the service portal page. Um, so there's some things you can do to enhance that, but um, that is the one limitation with it. So if you do navigate to the portal page, keep in mind in navigating to the portal page with the expectation of the person probably clicking back to come in, or you using the Cabrillo JavaScript to force the person back. Um, like I said, I have an enhancement request to our product team. But uh, when it comes to deep linking, that's it. Um, the deep linking information is out on our docs site, so docs.servicenow.com. Um, and then also it should be out on a developer site, developer.servicenow.com. Thank you very much. Have a good day.